Hey guys! Hi everyone! Let's just wait a few seconds for some maybe to jump on and we're ready for the essential oils against fear, anxiety and tension class. So excited to share this with you. It's one of my favorite topics. I know I always say I have like favorite topics and this is my favorite topic and this and this and but it's all so amazing. I mean, you can do so much amazing stuff with like nature's solutions. And I have prepared a bunch of oils, like a ton of oils to be ready, just a fraction of it. And we're just going to go with the flow. I believe whatever needs to come up comes up and that's what we're going to talk about. That's what we're going to, you know, shout out into the world. And I hope the doggy is going to stay quiet. There's a few people always. When, you, know, you know that feeling and every time you want to do something that requires some silence, something is happening and we always have people pass by our house outside whenever I'm trying to do something that I don't want the dog to bark. So don't be, you know, be prepared for dog barking. Could happen. Anyway, so good to have you here. Let's dive right in. Why essential oils for anxiety, for tension, for fear? Why is that so important? And what does it do to us? So each and every one of you knows that when you smell something, your body reacts. And there's certain kind of aromas that make you feel very tense. And there's certain kind of aromas that make you feel super mellow and happy, maybe sleepy a little bit. And this is how we use essential oils. We smell them, we put them onto our body, so all the ingredients, like everything that's good in the oil gets into our bloodstream, which it also does while we're smelling it. So don't underestimate the power of smelling something. And the nose and our sense of smell is so important for hormonal functions. So smell can trigger a total stress response. You smell something and this is kind of a survival instinct for us. So nature thought you need to know where it's safe for you to be. And if you walk into a dark room and it smells like danger, and this could be a bunch, it could smell like blood, for example, you would notice the, the smell like it's dangerous in there. You wouldn't walk into a dark room that smells like blood, right? That'd be crazy probably. But you would smell into a dark room that smells like cookies and the feeling would be totally different, even though it's the same room, just a different kind of smell. And you know, rooms that aren't as clean, maybe, as you would like them to be, if they smell clean, people think they're even cleaner as they are. So this is how we uh, teach our train, teach our train, uh, teach our brain, or our brain teaches us, what to do, what to look for, where to feel safe, where to spend some time, and so on. And this is also how it works when we're feeling anxious when we're under tension, under stress. This happens by something that happens during the day and we all go through it. And anxiety especially is a topic that comes up so frequently. In the last few years, I ha I've had so many people talk to me and they're taking some medication, some pills against their anxiety. And I'm not judging any one of you who is on antidepressants or something like that. But it's not the ideal solution and we all know that maybe it's a bridge to another you know situation circumstances but why not try to use something natural at least additionally and you will see and you will find out it helps sometimes so much better than anything else and the sense of smell works so quickly in our brain in our hormonal system that you literally take a whiff and after that you know how it works on your body so let's get right ahead if anxiety is a problem for you there's like a ton of oils that um, are good for you that you could use and let's start with a classic it's lavender lavender is so calming it's so nice it's it's an aroma that a lot of people like and a lot of people dislike um, but if you don't like it, we'll talk about a lot of other oils that would be um, good for you if you feel anxious. And, and lavender is an oil that can do so many other things. That, because sometimes when people come up to me and they have like sleeping problems, anxiety problems, I, the first oil I'm going to hand them is lavender. And if they say, oh, that's nice, I'll let them try it. I'll let them have a bottle and 
if it's not for their or against their anxiety it can do so much great stuff for the skin so it's like i i call lavender and a lot of you that have been to classes and events with me know that i call lavender the swiss army knife of essential oils because that's what it practically is lavender is super soothing for muscles as well uh, and even against pain so whenever you something hurts and it does not necessarily only have to be muscle pain um, you can apply it and you can apply it most people have no problem with applying lavender straight to their skin but there's no problem in diluting it you just use a great vegetable oil uh, to dilute it and put it on your skin and you will feel extreme tension in lavender release so it's great for massages especially before bedtime it's a great oil for kids as well because it's such a soft oil so if you have a baby that is quite fuzzy or has problems falling asleep uh, and always is like super awake when you want to put it to bed just rub a little bit of lavender onto their tiny feet and that's all it takes just one drop maybe a little bit of fractionated coconut oil or some carrier oil some vegetable oil and then just massage their feet the interesting thing is that people parents tell me uh, that their kids if they're having trouble sleeping they just put them to bed and it's kind of a ritual for them to rub their feet with lavender essential oil before they go to bed <laughs> yes, Sabina, learning English with Anissa and doTERRA. So we're going to talk about like, I'm, I'm try just trying to find, figure out which English words are typically doTERRA. Empower is an English word that you will use a lot with doTERRA. Anyways, so great for kids to put them uh, to bed to sleep and it's a soft oil. There is hardly any caustic side effects with lavender essential oil. But as I said, it's always all right to dilute it with sensitive skin, baby skin, of course. So feet massage or take a hot bath. If you know falling asleep because you're so tense before you need to go to bed, take a hot bath for your feet and put a few drops of lavender oil into it. First of all, when the steam comes up, you will inhale the lavender aroma and through the like warm water, it will get into your feet, your skin, it will enter your bloodstream. So you have the aroma that works on you on your mood and you will have all the good things in the lavender oil and i'm trying to use well better english here we are i'm thinking about the word ingredient but that's not what i'm you know what's in the lavender oil if you don't like lavender and there are quite a few people who don't like lavender because they say it smells like my grandma and this can be related to some memories that you don't like so much if you know lavender is a granny smell for you or is a very feminine smell and you're a guy and you would like something that's more masculine you could always reach for some wood oils for example cedar wood cedar wood is very very woodsy uh, smelling very grounding oil as well and it smells like a freshly cut wood but somehow it reminds me of uh, wooden furniture as well so a lot of people like cedar wood more than lavender or they like to combine it it's great in the diffuser I mean it's so funny when I have it running in our house every a lot of times people come into our wooden home like our log home and they're like oh it smells so much like wood and I'm like yeah maybe to you but wait till until I crack up the diffuser so this is very grounding and if you think about big cedar trees like they're rooted deeply into the ground it's quite hard you know you can't just walk by a cedar tree and poof and make it fall down uh, it takes quite a lot of strength and work to do that this is how cedar wood makes you feel it makes you feel very grounded very strong very ready to tackle everything that's happening in your life this is something that most tree oils like wooden oils can do for you and not a great oil to give you this feeling of total groundedness and you know repellent for worry and stress is arbor vitae arbor vitae is an oil that i really love just because or not just because but also because it comes from western canada uh, it's close to vancouver that's where it gets distilled and the arborvitae tree is like a red giant cedar wood tree and i'm so excited i'm going to go to the west coast of canada to vancouver next summer so i'm going to make sure i you know hug some arborvitae trees because uh, they are so amazing and the oil does, does such great stuff for me and 
both oils are very great if you feel like you're losing your footing and you know what I'm talking about if you've ever had that feeling like some things are happening and whenever you feel like now I got my grip again something's happening again so those oils are like if you put them onto the soles of your feet you draw your energy down to the ground it helps you to connect with the earth and with energy and you know really get you deeply rooted into your surroundings and in nature and nature provides everything that we need we all know that so in the summertime you could even try rubbing arborvitae or cedar wood onto the soles of your feet and then walk outside walk in the grass really have like skin contact with the earth so this will kind of double the whole effect or you put them in a diffuser and calm your mind with it so those three oils are amazing and always great in combination with lavender Another, um, I'd say fairly masculine smell, because it's part of some men's cologne, is vetiver. And vetiver is a grass. The oil gets distilled out of the roots of the grass. It comes from Haiti and it smells very earthy. That's what a lot of people say. And it's very true. And I haven't used vetiver a lot until... I was at the convention in Salt Lake City and I was riding on the tracks. This is kind of the inner city train there and chatting with a ex-soldier, somebody who's been to, I think it was Afghanistan, not quite sure, but Iraq, Afghanistan, a place where everyone knows highly stressful environment. And he was telling me, you know, my wife used to order so many oils all the time and I got kind of pissed off every time I came back, back home from war. There were more and more bottles like filling up the home. And when he got like really back home to stay back home, he had trouble sleeping. He had troubles getting through the day. He had the like PTS, like post-traumatic syndrome and always like tense during the whole day i mean this is a horrible horrible disease actually that a lot of people deal with and you don't have to be at war and come home to have post-traumatic syndrome this could also happen to you if you have been through divorce if somebody you have loved died in an accident is sick i mean everything that puts you under immense stress can lead to a post-traumatic Syn syndrome and this could be sleeping problems uh, digestive problems of course because if your body doesn't know how to relax it's always going to have like functional problems so he was telling me then that um, he was like in a horrible state and then he got ready to try the vetiver oil and his wife told him to rub it onto his temples and onto the soles of his feet especially when going to bed and he was like that blew me away now i'm like a total believer i'm never going to say anything about a bottle of oil because it just changed my life i went back to being normal i went back to being fully present in the moment being able to play with my kids not you know being afraid of something happening to me during the day so that was the first time that I heard something like that about vetiver and after that a lot of stories like that followed I, I don't know I was just sensitive more sensitive to it I think and I once I got asked about you know a little girl that had high stress problems um, and I mean she was hitting her head against the wall and some mental issues as well i have to add but still a little little uh tiny girl and i i told the therapist that asked me you know why don't you try whatever i'm not sure if the girl is going to like it because i don't think it's a smell that kids feel drawn to but i mean it's worth a try and i think it was just two weeks later that her therapist told me you know it's been amazing after the first time of applying the vetiver oil to her to the feet she felt so much calmer and after a couple of days like the head banging against the wall totally stopped and it hasn't come back as far as i know and the girl really liked it so she knew this would be helpful to her and even as a little little kid she felt drawn to it and that's something sometimes even you know a good thing that kids don't think about it just like animals they you know they know what's right for them and they don't need a book or something to tell them they smell it and they say yes that's it or no you can go away with that that's not the right thing so vetiver is really really great if you have anxiety issues give vetiver a try it's always best if you have the chance to smell it before you work with it or before you order a bottle because your nose will tell you as I said if it's right for you but 
you can hide vetiver with lavender or other oils. I love to put it into a blend with um, lavender and Douglas fir, sometimes bergamot as well. So vetiver is really nice and gives a warm and woody aroma to the whole blend. And it's my total, you know, check out and no matter what happens, I'm good with the world blend. And as I just mentioned, Douglas fir, it's another tree oil, but this is not as woody or woodsy as the cedarwood, for example, because it's out of the twigs and, you know, the, the leaves, the needles of the Douglas fir, and it smells really green compared to, you know, the woody, the deep, uh, darker aroma. Oh, and I just love it. It's so great for airways as well. If you breathe like the Douglas fir, it opens up your airways, it's like fresh, and this is how it works in our mind. And here's another story that I have with Douglas fir. Last spring, when I was flying to Canada to teach some workshops there, a few of you have met me there, I, like suddenly, somewhere above the ocean, it smelled like burnt plastic on the plane. And I kind of freaked out, like, I tried not to show it, but I was like going, does anyone else? smell burnt plastic on a plane and but everybody was super calm and you know after a couple of minutes the smell dissolved so i guess something just happened in the kitchen it wasn't like horrible and i felt you know calmer but still i was in like internal panic when i smelled that and just a few like a couple of days before i flew back home i felt you know that kind of creepy feeling coming back of being in a plane and feeling scared and I wasn't so scared about the flight itself but about feeling scared again if this makes any sense to you but I guess a lot of you have been in situations where you're more scared of feeling scared than the actual thing that's happening and I felt drawn to Douglas fur so I put a drop onto my pillow before I went to bed and you know rubbed it a little bit about around my heart and I felt like it was an eraser for trauma. It felt like, yeah, that happened, but I mean, nothing bad really happened. And that was so interesting. It kind of broke the cycle of going crazy about nothing. And as many of you know, I work with a lot of energy healers and I talked to them and said, you know, it's like a trauma eraser that Douglas for It's really amazing. Play around with it and tell me what you think. Give me some feedback. And each and every one of them have come back and said, Yes, it really is a trauma eraser. It's amazing what it does to be people, especially if, even if it's like deep rooted trauma, something happened in the family. This is something that makes it lighter or even erases this traumatic scarcity, sometimes even anger feeling that is tied to it. And you can, you know, take a step back and think about the, the situation sometimes more logically. And, you know, um, make more sense of it in in your brain as well and not not just being totally blind by by fear so this is what douglas fir is amazing for love it love it love it in the diffuser really fresh and it's always good if an if an oil against anxiety or fear is opening up your airways because if you have ever had a panic attack and i'm very lucky to have never had like a typical panic attack like where from one situation to the other you're basically unable to move or breathe but i know a lot of people who have been through panic attacks and they said what happens is my chest feels so tight it feels like it's tightening tightening and i can't get any air inside of my lungs and of course this is a vicious cycle because you start to breathe differently you make yourself tight and that way it's hard for you to breathe and then this downward cycle practically begins and can end really really badly what be awesome if you know you have a tendency to have like panic attacks that close up your whole breathing have breathe with you it's our respiratory uh, blend it has eucalyptus and peppermint and raven sara and lemon in it cardamom as well and interestingly if you smell it or you put a drop between the palms of your hand rub it cup your face and like take a deep breath it will open up your lungs like you wouldn't believe and if you do that while you're in the middle of this tightening and kind of panicky feeling your lungs will open up 
and it kind of triggers a response from your body like your lungs back to your brain that says why are you freaking out everything's good i mean there's enough oxygen coming in and suddenly those people are kind of snapped out of the situation so amazing again they can step aside and say what am i doing here i i can breathe i'm fine so breathe really really amazing if fear it doesn't have to be a full-on panic attack if fear at all is something you when you deal with it it kind of constricts your respiratory system breathe amazing i love it now this this time of year i have it running because so many people have snotty noses and uh the flu i have been scared of getting sick for many many weeks and i hope i'll stay as healthy as i'm right now i've taken a lot of baths with oils and rubbed my feet and done everything to get through this winter so far so i hope i hope it stays that way oh let's talk about roman chamomile and especially because we couldn't get it for such a long time. For the last two years, Roman chamomile was oh, like gold to us. And I really only gave away tiny little drops and I diluted it. So I had a little more time uh, and more oil. And chamomile, as we all know, you drink chamomile tea to calm yourself. And the smell of the Roman chamomile is so intense. It's like a big bathtub full of chamomile tea that's what it feels like to me and it's very soothing for soothing it's a funny word to say actually for somebody who's not maybe even for english speaking people but you know what i mean very calming as well for babies as for uh, adults it's a very mild oil so you'll find a lot of recipes for little kids with roman chamomile and you can dilute it or use it for the skin if it's itchy or something but it's also against cramping a lot of oils actually that are against anxiety uh, issues are against cramping as well because it's something that kind of goes hand in hand very often and it's against cramping and pain as well but so relaxing and there is a blend that's called the hibernation blend and I've read it I think in Lil Shepherd's newsletter. Lil Shepherd is um, the lady who like is our upline who brought uh, the oils to Austria kind of and they had the hibernation blend and it was like Roman chamomile, vetiver, bergamot and frankincense and it's an amazing blend. So vetiver, bergamot, frankincense, Roman chamomile. And it's really it feels like hibernation. I mean, if you use it in a diffuser, be ready to fall into a deep, deep sleep. And if you're under high stress, high pressure during the day, during the day, it's too strong for me. If I'm like, like not like super wired up, I, I fall asleep right away. So only at night or if you're under immense stress, then you can use it during the day. Because then, you know, to lower your cortisol levels and to calm like super down will be all right for you. You won't need to worry. Like if your anxiety levels, your adrenaline levels are high up, you need something that gives you, you know, the full, full on power calming properties. So yeah, Roman chamomile, amazing, great. Juniper berry is another oil that I really, really like and use a lot. And this is amazing for night terrors, nightmares. Anyone who says I have no problem falling asleep, but when I'm asleep, all the problems are starting. And again, great in the diffuser. It's a great oil for the kidneys. So, and the kidneys are the ones who store a lot of fear and anxiety. So if you put it onto your kidneys, and I like to do that before I go to bed, sometimes you take a couple of drops of juniper berry and frankincense and I rub it onto my back, the area where the kidneys are, and they're kind of higher up than, than most people think. It's like where your rib cage basically, oh, can you see, where your rib cage basically ends or starts, however you see it. And you can make, you know, massage blend out of it. Uh, but anyway, juniper berry on my kidney area, amazing amazing and it really calms me down and it loosens up your fear it helps if your mind is one of those that processes problems and anxiety during your sleep if this is your problem and you're fine during the day consider trying juniper berry it's really amazing also sometimes for bladder issues i also like it for my respiratory system for my lungs because i don't know just smells amazing for that as well kind of fresh um 
watery and I don't know if this makes any sense to anyone who has never smelled juniper berry oil but night terrors great great oil for kids and grown-ups as well and we have been talking about oils that are good against anxiety or fear are also great for digestion this is the case for us say like wild orange as well wild orange is amazing for cramping or against cramping and it's also mild very uh, very sunny oil so it also lifts up the mood this is amazing how how well my mood is going up if I smell it so it I have to take another one ah uh, just so great it's called sunshine in the bottle and there's a reason for that oftentimes like if you're a person like me if I'm feeling anxious my whole digestive system is you know going down in the knot wild orange just the smell of it makes me so mellow and happy that a lot of worry goes out the window and if I apply it to my abdomen even better because the tension loosens up right away basically you could also work with digestion it's the the blend for the digestive system so it's great for the stomach and for digesting food also helping with that but it smells like fennel ginger peppermint so it's great if it, there is a bad knot in my in my tummy already happening but if I'm early enough, Wild Orange does the trick for me. And as I said, the mood uplifting is so amazing and so great. I have a few others left and I could go on for hours and hours because so many oils are so great against the fear, the anxiety and the stress. But yeah, are there any questions? Did I mention something that you guys use? Oh, maybe I should talk about my husband's favorite oil for his nighttime routine. It's Serenity. And Serenity is a blend of lavender, ylang ylang, I think it has patchouli in there, sandalwood, sweet marjoram, roaming chamomile. Really lovely smell. And Serenity is great for those people that start to get anxious as soon as their head hits the pillow. They have trouble falling asleep because they're thinking about this problem, which leads to think about this problem, which leads to think about another problem. And hours later, they're laying in bed and, you know, their mind is buzzing and they can't find, you know, peace and rest when they're going to bed. Then serenity is the oil of your choice, I believe. And what we love to do is we wet a diffuse it or and we have a diffuser on our nightstand or we put it into the soles of our feet my husband also likes to put it into onto the back of his neck and i don't know why but it seems like it works even better with men than with women and i have no really logical explanation for that but that's how it works i don't know and i've had not not only like guys like human men also horses like stallions geldings they love serenity. Mares do as well, but the guys, they're just crazy for serenity. I don't know, there's no scientific research for that. But another great oil, oh, I didn't even put it out because I was just thinking about animals. Serenity is also great. I have it in diffuser during New Year's Eve for the dog to stay calm and stay as happy as possible. And it works wonders, but it's better to put it into the diffuser as early as possible. Hey Tammy, my darling, so glad to see you again in spring in May. Oh, I would love to see you early actually. And uh, balance. Balance is the blend that's always amazing. I mean, you don't have to feel anxious to love balance. It's the grounding blend and there's a reason for that because it really grounds you. I love to use it before a yoga class I put into the soles of my feet and it really helps with balance as well. So the name tells you a lot about what it does. So doing crazy dancer poses or everything, balance helps with that. And I have a veterinarian just the town next door and she used balance in her practice for herself because she wasn't you know feeling nervous but tense that day and then a cat came a main main coon cat and who knows main coons those are those really big beautiful pretty cats and she said it was one of those patients that had always trouble you know she always had trouble working with him because he was so scared and afraid and kind of always fighting everything she did and that day after she had diffused balance in the room, 
he was lying on the table, purring, feeling happy as can be, and she had to work on something on his tail, and she said, it must have felt bad to him, but no, he was fine with it. Even his owner was like, what's wrong? I mean, why is he so calm that day? And the vet said, well, I diffused one of those oils and it seems to be really good for him. And cats are sensitive to the smells anyway. So balance is great, especially if you know you're heading into a situation where some tension will come up. Use it beforehand. I mean, you can actually do this with any oil. Use it before the stressors come up. That'd be ideal, but of course, we never know. A phone call can happen with some crazy person on the other end, uh, or, I don't know, accidents happen. So, you sometimes you don't know what's coming up during the day. But if you do, if you know you're walking into a meeting where it's going to be fairly tense and it's going to be hard on your soul, your body, use the oils before you walk into the room. That'd be the best thing for you. Well, I think we've covered a lot. A lot, really a lot. And if you'd like to know more, just shoot me a message. I know I've seen a lot of my doTERRA friends on. They could tell you so much more probably as well about the oils. And each and every one of us has his favorite oil. And we work with different oils. And there are certain times for, say, a chamomile. And there are certain days for lavender and there are certain days for vetiver. So whatever suits your nose, whatever feels good to you, there's always an oil solution for those high stress moments. And trust me, they work in a second. The second you smell it, hormonal responses happen in your body and you can calm yourself with an oil so quickly. I mean, why use some medication that has like bad side effects if just opening a bottle of oil can do the same thing, sometimes even more for it. I would really suggest if anxiety, fear, stress, tension, and muscle tension is a sign of internal tension. If you try to use a natural solution, you it can only benefit your body. That's my, my point of view. Of course, as well, I, I didn't prepare it, but there's like the vitamins, the supplements, um, the lifelong vitality or daily nutrient pack. And one lovely lady, Rebecca Hintze, a psychologist from the States, she did her master in London or an additional master in London and did a study on lifelong vitality pack for people with depression, anxiety. And she wanted to prove that if your body chemistry is in a good state, your brain chemistry is in a good state. And she wrote a book about it, Essentially Happy. You can look it up on Amazon. Rebecca Hintze is her name. You will find her on Facebook as well. I just did the Emotions Mentor course with her. She's an amazing, amazing, awesome lady. And yes, I mean, the study was mind-blowing, really. So if your nutritional levels are in good shape, your mental state will be so much better. So give this an additional try, especially if this is a chronic issue for you. An oil will always be helpful in the situation, but if you want to take the, the cause by the root, try to think about your supplements. So if any of you who's listening thinks, ah, okay, well, oils could be a good thing, you would like to try that. I have like a awesome promotion going on right now and I really I really mean it I mean doTERRA right now has an amazing promotion for all new customers for everybody who's now ready 2017 to start into you know a more natural more wellness focused lifestyle and if you decide in January to try out oils and you would give it a try because you know they will benefit you or you know at least you're ready for something natural that's easy and very safe to use for yourself your whole family even for your pets i mean i use oils for my pets all the time shoot me a message we'll find out if there's anything that's suited specifically for you if there's maybe a kit that'd be amazing for you and you don't have to be pressured into anything there's nothing like five thousand dollar kits or something like that i mean there's something for every budget and i will kind of as my super duper bonus throw in one of these usb diffusers i have them on my desk all the time and i fill them up with water and i put in the oils that are like the best for me at the moment the usb b thing here you can plug it into I don't know where well, you plug in your phone so you can have them on your nightstand as well or if you're in a high stress job environment 
take them with you on your desk and even use your calming oils during the day because you will need them. Or, as I said, you use them during the night. You can even use them in your car. You can, like put them into the cup holders and it's an amazing thing. So I will throw that on top. I will give it to you for free, this USB diffuser, because I know a diffuser makes such a difference, especially if we're working on emotions. If you have something running next to your desk, in your bedroom, wherever you need it, it's so much easier for you to have those benefits. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it then didn't get too boring. I know I'm always talking fast and using a lot of hands, so it's kind of entertainment as well, I hope. Anyways, if I can help you figuring out what oils would be the best for you, shoot me a message. Let's talk. Let's write. I love you guys. It's so amazing to have you on and I'll talk to you soon, hopefully. Take care.